เออเปเออเปเปเปใช่มันน่าสนุกวิกเกอร์ I know I am watching more movies from The Green Beret John Wayne who can not remember that one especially great classic and person who is actually visited Fort Bragg um, one of the greatest restaurants that's on Post you should check it out sometime if you're a military World War II veteran or served at active duty or military retired Now, uh, carry on today's historic speech by Major General Dor Darren W. McDew, Air Force District's o Washington Commander, Joint Base Andrews, Maryland. In the national capital regions, you do not have to look far to find monuments honoring our heroic, heroic airmen, soldiers, sailors, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen who have paid the ultimate price in defense of our great nation. This weekend, Americans. Will visit the memorials and cemeteries in Washington D.C. and throughout the U.S. as well as in Europe and the Pacific to honor the hundreds of thousands fallen service members who have given their lives for our country and our freedom. Many will remember grandparents, parents, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles who have served in World War One and World War Two. Korea, Vietnam, the first Gulf War, many more will pay tribute to husbands, wives, sons, and daughters who recently lost their lives in Afghanistan and Iraq. God bless you all. Okay, um, think about that memory, those memorials and military cemeteries spread across the nation throughout the world. The VA's National Cemetery Administration maintains approximately 3.1 million grave sites of people. Of honorable people who lost their lives in the line of duty. At 131 national cemeteries and 39 states, in U.S. territories as well as in 33 soldier lots, monument sites, and American Battalion Monument Commissions manages 24 overseas military cemeteries and 25 memorial monuments, including the one stationed in the Philippines. And markers to honor those who served in World War I or World War II. The overseas locations memorialized more than 218,000 Americans with nearly 125,000 grave sites and commemorate an additional 94,000 on tablets of the missing. In Arlington National Cemetery, 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment Soldiers, the Old Guard, U.S. Marine Corps, Ceremonial and Guard Company Marines, U.S. Navy. Ceremonial Guardsmen, U.S. Air Force Honor Guard members, U.S. Coast Guard Ceremonial Honor Guard members will place more than 250,000 grave decorating flags. The flags will remain through Memorial Day. I know. The number are staggering, but they do not account for thousands are buried. States of veterans, cemeteries throughout the country. The number also tell a story. These heroes hailed from town and city in America. They came from every walk of life. Young men and women straight out of high school, colleges, to farmers, policemen, teachers, doctors, lawyers, you name it. Their ethnic backgrounds are equally as diverse, but they all have one thing in common. They served our nation during times of peace and war. They served as shields for America to keep war from reaching our front, very front door. Unfortunately, too many lost their lives in foreign lands never to see their families again. Today we are faced with a grim reality that number of fatalities since we began operation in Afghanistan and Iraq is up to more than 6,400. Every one of those losses is integrated air defense. Let's see. As a loss to our nation, a loss to our military, and most importantly, a loss to the families who grieve. On the, this Memorial Day at 3 p.m., wherever you are, I encourage you to pause and participate in the National Monument of Remembrance established by Congress. This is a moment of reflection, opportunity to discover that gratitude for our fallen warriors. On Memorial Day, every day, let's continue to make sure heroes are never forgotten. I thank you for your service and wishes you a safe holiday weekend. Honorable Major General Darren. W. McDew. God bless you, sir. Getting on with that, having said that. Let's see here. Having said that, why, uh, I said this in the previous video. Uh, 
Most people can agree, being military and active duty retired since World War I. We'll watch movies not just to honor the living and those who are serving, or currently are served or have served. We honor, we watch war movies to honor the dead, paying respects for those who pay with their lives for our free. Having said that, have a Memorial Day, which is tomorrow. Watching everything from Platoon to Hamburger Hill to the latest one by Mr. Khan, a great actor, to every other war movie known, especially General Patton, who can cannot forget that one. Boy, did that guy raise hell from World War II. God bless his family. Also, kids, families, entertainment. Guess what's coming around in Orlando and Walt Disney? You must check out the new clown around from a huge pool at Disney's new resort to terrifying plunge on a zip line roller coaster. Jump into summer. Check this out. Now, isn't that a nice water park that's opening May 31st? Finding Nemo. And what's neat about it, the sweet hotel overlooks the pool area. For more information, you can call. Stay away. Go to Orlando and check out. Disney's art of the animation is at 1815 Citri Drive, Lake Buena Vista, by Finding Nemo Suites. Officially open on May 31st. Rates start at $248 a night. A suite includes two bathrooms, a kitchenette, and three sleeping areas to comfortably accommodate six guests. For a reservation and more information, call 407 I'll say that backwards three times. 467 blah, blah. one of the toys you want. As you can see, now isn't that a great attraction? That decoration, the artistic talent of getting the bringing the kid out of you. You could be 98, you want to jump in this pool. And keep in mind, that's 310,000 gallons worth of water over there. And the sweets look like this. Personally, I think I'll be in heaven if I go there. Bring my son. He'll have a ball. I'll look around like. Walt Disney. It's Mendoza. Must it's in Orlando here in Florida, you'll find it. Thanks. It's no white, Cinderella, Pinocchio, Lion King, Walt Disney. They have a carnival named Walt Disney. That docks here right in town. Downtown Challenge. Have a great weekend. Stay positive. By the way, parents, one more thing. Whooping cough is a major disaster right now here, especially in Florida. If you had whooping cough as a parent, and especially it goes around the world for you adults, if you have whooping cough or recall having whooping cough as a kid, you must mount your hand thoughts to the nearest clinic, see a doctor, and get the vaccination to prevent your whooping cough vaccine, which you had a long time ago as a kid. Passed on to your baby, your toddler, okay? Whooping cough passed on to your child is not a good idea. See your doctor, they know what kind of vaccination it is that prevents whooping cough from spreading from you, even if you don't have whooping cough today. I'm not talking about today, I'm talking about 20 years ago when you were a child their age. Macho Han plus the nearest vaccination, get that shot. Preventing you from passing on those little bug hiding somewhere dormant, dormant in your body somewhere for the last 20 years from carrying on to your child. Bad idea. All right, medical professional could be 
do it, it'll be all right. Get the shot. Just look the other way. You're in and out. You'll be all right. You can handle shot. Like kids, you know, at least when they have the shot, you try to tell them to look the other way before they start screaming in your ear. Or oh, whatever. I think. All right. Have a great week. God bless you all. Wherever you are in the world, especially the children of this world, don't drive your parents too crazy.